red line 60, 6,500, 7,000, but we won't, we won't mess with that. I could get used to that. get the appeal <laughs> all the sound this thing makes um, I don't know it's kind of cool you know if I was gonna do one of these things I would just do it like super super clean and dialed in I mean this uh, you know the dash is kind of janky I mean I think that's the, the deal with most of these 240s is that you know this this is a really nice one um, so I you know of course I would if I was gonna do one, I would dial it in, but you know, I, I can see the appeal. If I can learn how to drive. <laughs> I mean, the uh, wheel's all wobbly and Try to get some more footage when I come back. All right, so driving down the street to Home Depot, I think I, I, I get the appeal. Uh, I just don't understand why they need to be such hunks of crap. You know, why does everything need to be? And this isn't, you know, I Adam just got this thing, but why is every single one of them just destroyed? Like, why can't they be dialed in? Uh, and I, I think I know the answer to that. You know, people get them and they just don't take care of them, and they take parts and try to modify and make things better, and they end up making. Um, but the ship link is just great, you know the the way it feels it feels very you know typical Japanese like um, The you know the, the brakes the brakes are okay. I'm sure the brakes are much better on Adam's uh, on Adam's other car Because uh, he has a CTSV brakes on it And of course this has you know Alberto dialed the engine so the engine in this thing is awesome if you can get over the you know the jacked up headliner and all the other kind of parts that go with this thing. But there's very few things in this world that are as cool as that. I get that. Gas in here though. 
hope we don't catch on fire. We need a green light. So anyway, you know, I, I get the appeal. Um, you know, I would, if I, I mean, my guess is most of the people that are watching this video are somewhat obsessed. You know, you would probably, you would probably, you know, and, and, and take and, and I know parts are hard to get for these things, but you know, people, they tear them apart so many times that they kind of get ratty, they get kind of beat up. Uh, and so when I, you know, when I'm saying I don't want some stinky Japanese car, you know, again, if I bought one of these, it would end up being a $50,000 or 240, it wouldn't be worth the money. Uh, and I'm sure there are some of them out there, but it seems like 95% of them are all jacked up. But I, you know, I certainly get the appeal, cheap, fun, speed, you know, the sounds this thing makes. Now again, this, is a, this isn't an SRT, this is a 1J, 1JZ swap. Toyota motor in this thing. And I'm just driving around town here. Why does it have to be a hunk of crap? What do you mean? Like, why can't we make them freaking awesome? Like, the motor's cool. I mean, I love a blow off. That's what I'm I, saying. If you drive my car, it's way more dialed, like all the subframe bushings. Like, everything's tight on the car. This car's still loose. It makes a lot of, like. Well, weird. that's not even the issue. It's just that, like, why does everything have to be broken and janky? Like, why can't we have, like, a clean headliner, nice carpeting? I mean, that, that's the goal with this car. So, I mean, that's what we're looking for. But I mean, it, I mean and I'm not even talking about yeah. you, I'm just talking about in general, you know. In general, I mean, the people that have these cars don't really have the time or money to put into things aesthetically, so that's why you see a lot of them driving around beat up, because they just care about driving. I so. see, I don't buy that, man. I don't know, I, I, I think it could be really awesome, really cool. You know, I get the money part, you know, I get that. But why does every, but why does everything have to be, I guess because people try to modify and make them better so they pull panels off and they don't go back in together. It's not even that, like, I mean, you might get a car that looks aesthetically beat up, like paint's expensive, or like inside, and these cars are super old, so all the interior pieces are shot, or maybe the previous owner pulled them off because he thought he was a drifter and wanted them to be super light, but. 
Yeah, I guess. I, I guess it's just. Like the power delivery I, of the Jay Z, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. Um, I love that. You know, like if you're just cruising and you're just, you know, going from you have second to third, and you just you're, you roll out second, you let off, blow off, right? That's freaking cool. The thing I don't like is like when you're on it, you go to. You know, I didn't go to red line, but let's say I went to like 6,500 RPMs, and then the I go. Yeah, then I go to second. There's nobody home, right? And then it. Then you can feel the. You know, the lag. You can feel it come back in. That, my biggest complaint with this car is not that it has that issue. This turbo is pulls insanely quick. My biggest problem with it is that it's such a small turbo that it falls off after like maybe 6,500 RPMs. It gotcha. doesn't pull as hard as it should. Yeah. But like my car, it's laggy as hell. Like my car, if you said that, I would be like, okay, I completely understand that. Yeah. This car, like it pulls all the way to red line. Yeah. It's sick. All right, let's get back to yeah. work. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor. 